Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another FIFA 22 career mode video. And welcome everybody to my first one episode career mode of FIFA 22. If you don't count technically the Barcelona bankrupt career mode. Okay, maybe it's my second one episode. Forget it, whatever. We are here ladies and gentlemen with Derby County, a team unfortunately that has found itself in quite the pickle. I'm sure most of you know the current situation, but if you don't, Derby County has currently gone into administration. Their final Finances are absolutely a mess. They have been deducted 12 points from the championship and currently their standing in the table is negative two. They have less points than what they started their season with. And on top of that, there's a chance they could even be deducted more points for breaking more financial rules from the EFL. And with a team like this and Wayne Rooney as your gaffer, I mean, it's looking a bit dim. So with all of that looming over their head, a squad that looks like this, which trust me, this Derby team used to be really solid a couple of years ago. Hell, they nearly almost got into the Premier League. And so I'm taking over as the new boss of Derby County and we are going to rebuild this team. We're going to sign everybody that we possibly can. We're going to build the team up. We're going to make it as good as we can possibly make it. Hopefully get up in the Premier League. Hopefully get into Champions League. And the goal ultimately is to win the Champions League. We've only got a transfer budget of about 6 million. So considering that the club's in administration, that's probably 6 million more than we probably would have in real life anyway. We do, however, have a pre-season friendly tournament to get through if we can hopefully progress a little deeper into this, maybe we get a bit more extra cash, but it doesn't look like that we will. And that 6 million basically goes up to 7 million. Okay, still not really going to be enough. Well, I am just going to try to find as many players as I can. I'll see if I can make some signing in this window. But if not, we'll probably just push on to the halfway point of the season and the next transfer window. Like, I got a handful of players in my shortlist, but uh, I doubt with the money that we have, we'd be able to sign any more than just one of these players. Still advancing to the first game of the season. We'll see what type of players I am I have in the shortlist. Still scouting a handful of players, but I do have a few others that I do have info on, like Kevin Schlotterbeck, for example. The highest rated guy on my shortlist at the moment, and I can get him for bang on his value. And it looks like that's going to work out. Come on, nice. So I reckon we go ahead and slot Schlotterbeck in at the centre-back position. We're replacing him with Phil Jagielka, so that's better to have a slightly younger 24-year-old, 72 rated, still got room to grow, slight improvement. I will also found Fabio Carvalho here from uh, from Fulham, who looks like he's going to be cheap-ish. I should be able to afford him. And at 67, 18 years of age, yeah, he's not going to be a standout in the team, but he should have potential. And it looks like he's going to set me back a little over 3 million and a wage of about 10k, but he's in now as well. Other areas I definitely want to strengthen when I can will be a new striker, that is for certain as well. Maybe try to work on my back line since it's a little bit older. Could do with another centre back to replace Davies and even a new right back as well, who knows. I'm going to go ahead and sell a few more Deadwood plays as well just to bring in a little bit more cash. Guys like Davies and Kazim Richards, for example, like they're actually starting 11 plays. I won't let them go. So we've already sold a couple of players for a little bit of cash, but I'm going to hold on to that cash and try to get some free agents or maybe even some pre-contract players in the next window. Let's go then. I'm going to push all the way to January, the halfway stage of the season. We'll see how the team's shaping up, see if a Premier League pushes on or if we're still going to have some work to do. And oof, halfway into this, oh, this championship campaign and well, we're 15th. We're 15th, blood. We're 15th. I don't think we're getting promoted this season. And with little cash in January, I have to go for as many free agent pre-contract players as possible. Luckily, I've been doing my research and I have found a couple like Ronaldo Vieira. Amazing name. Let's see if we can get him on a free. This player is currently on loan, so you can't approach him until he comes back from loan. Come on, man. Well, we've got others like Jeremy Jelen here, I believe, is how you would say that name anyway. Another low 70, younger sort of player that I definitely need to get as many uh, younger center backs in as possible. Hopefully 25K is enough. And it looks like it will be. There you go. Very nice. First pre-contract signing. Advancing forward a bit, we find Jacob Murphy, who we can pick up on a free. Worth 4 million. 35K is a fair bit, but still though. I reckon he'll definitely be worth it. Hopefully he goes for this and makes the move, which of course he will. All right, that's another one. And we've also got another winger, a Spaniard, 23 years of age, Alex Blanco. I might move for him. Currently on 20K worth of wage a week. Would he take the same? Oh yeah, of course he will. Let's go, baby. Come on. Nice pickups here. That's a brand new center back and a brand new winger partnership there as well, which I think these are good signings here. And the only other guy I can afford really to buy with straight up cash with the money that we have, only having about 2 mil in the budget, is uh, is Reese Brown. So we might move for him too. You can see the amount of 
You can see the amount of cash that we actually have left. I mean, we're going to need him to take this two mil offer. And he's going to take it. Nice stuff there. I'll probably just keep Reese Brown on the bench just because I don't want to replace Bird or, Be or Bielik, I think is how you'd say that. So... The team is a mix of older players and younger players. Some of the older players like Davies have started to drop massively. We're going to need a season to rebuild and get the team a bit younger and fresher. And with those new younger players coming in on pre-contracts and the new season coming up, hopefully we will not go down this season. We'll steady the ship and we'll push on for promotion next season. And yeah, look, this season was a tough one. We're going to finish in 15th, just like we were in January. I mean, a few more points, we could have finished a little more higher up, but... Uh, Look, it, it, it is what it is with this season. We had a pretty rough start anyway. I mean, look at the drop-off of some of our higher-rated players in the team, like Jackie Elka, who dropped by seven, Marshall by six, Davies by seven, and then our man up top, six minus overall. We seriously need to freshen up the team, and hopefully we will push on from there. Is that why Sam Boldick was our top goal scorer with Tom Lawrence delivering a few and Hutchinson, despite being a lower rating player, he's actually got not bad for only 19 appearances. Holy crap, put him up at striker. But that is the end of season one. I'm hoping this season, this next season coming up, we'll hopefully be able to start improving our position and fight for playoffs. So here's how we start up season two with Jelen, the other center back that we picked up on the pre-contract. Murphy, I've currently got it right back. I need to sign another actual right back, but he's going to have to fill there for now. And then Alex Blanc, at the left midfield position. We desperately need a new striker, and I think we desperately need a new right back, and maybe, hopefully, a new goalkeeper. Then again, our budget is almost identical to what it was at the beginning of last season, so it's going to be even trickier again. Hell, as a matter of fact, I've just been looking in the free agents myself. There are too many great possible players for us to pick up. This guy is by far the most insane. We just found an 84 rated Bloody free agent chilling. Robin Delic... Uh, oh, De Declare... Oh, my God. Why Why add the Q? Why the Q? Declare would have been fine, and then you had to just go and add the Q. I mean, like, how do I, how do I work that? But is there actually a chance I might be able to get this guy, or will he not be willing to sign? This guy could completely turn our fortunes around. All it takes is one superstar signing like this. One absolute gem, a diamond in the rough that we have just found here all by ourselves. I'm not even going to dare to stiff him on the wages. I want to make sure we get this guy in as, as, as desperately as possible. And he's going to go for it. Oh my God, what a find in the free agents in season two to join us and totally turn this football club around. We needed a new striker and we've got one. Welcome, Robin DeClaire. I'm just going to call him that if I'm wrong, I don't care. Where on earth did that guy come from? Are we going to make it out of the groups in this and hopefully get a little bit more cash? Yes, we will. We're even going to beat Hanover. DeClaire, surely he didn't get a hat trick. Oh my God, what have we just found? We found a monster. And do we win the final and get the most amount of cash possible? Oh, you better believe that we do. Come on, that's a brilliant result. That means we're now playing with just a little over 10 mil. That is huge. In my searches, I've also found another fullback here in Adriano Neves. I wonder if we can turn him into a right back. He is right footed, but I'm going to try to bring him in for about 25,000. Looks like he's going to take that. Lovely. And he's only going to take two weeks to become a right back. Sweet, that's our new right back. I'll go for one more free agent and then chill a little bit, but there are literally so many we could get. Sean Longstaff. I'll bring him in for about, oh, actually, to be fair, quite a reasonable amount of cash. Decent bonus, but we can take that. And of course, because we still need a goalkeeper, I'm going to have to go for, out of everyone in my shortlist, this guy's the youngest and almost the highest rated. So I think it makes sense. We're going to go for Boris Morozov here from Salsulo. He might cost everything we have, but I'm going to offer 7 million for him here. And that's going to work out. Okay, so we'll bring him in as well. Okay, baby, now we are talking. Look at what we are rocking with here. We've got ourselves a very strong looking back line and a young back line now, way younger than it was before. Decent midfield, got the new signing there in Longstaff there. We've got Blanco there. And of course, Declare, who is going to surely lead this team. And I, being so young still, again, what 19 years of age, what a pickup, what an absolute hidden gem. I mean, look at that. 55 million in value, just straight like that, just from digging deep into the free agents, man. And even Neves isn't bad either. Like, oh my God. Is this a team now that can push for maybe Premier League promotion? Let's start advancing forward to January and let's see where we are at the halfway stage. All right, so halfway, we're not in the top six yet, but we're a point off it. We're doing very, very nicely, I reckon, and hopefully we'll continue to be stronger toward the end of the season, find a way up into the Premier League. I mean, that is the dream. I've only got like a million in the budget in January, so pre-contract signings might be tricky. The highest rated one I've been able to sign, honestly, is this bloke, James Leah Saliki. 
who is only 26 over like years of age and 73 overall. Don't know if he's going to push much higher, but he's probably the only one I, I have in my shortlist and the only one that I've found. Look, he could be a useful addition, so I'll still go for him anyway. We'll get him into the team. He'll join us at the beginning of next season anyway. I could also do with a little bit more depth at the center back position, and I do have Will Fraser here, who's a free agent from America, 17 years of age. I'll go for him just to bolstered our center backs. Absolutely simple as, and he's going to be way cheaper than that other bloke that we picked up. I swear, I would do nothing but sign free agents if I could, but I have like a weird sort of moral obligation not to just do nothing but free agent signings. But hey, man, they are just too OP for a team like ours. Honestly, seriously, I may as well just make the use of it while I can. And I don't think we're exactly going to do much else in terms of transfer. So let's just keep pushing forward and see if we can get promoted. Do we make it to the playoffs? Well, people, good news. Even though Burnley have completely walked the championship and Brentford got the second spot, we were able to secure fifth in the championship. We're going to take on Blackburn Rovers then. Get past them, hopefully take on the winner of Nottingham Forest and Norwich, and get ourselves into the damn Premier League. Ooh, first game goes fairly well, minus the injury, but we're up 2-1. And what do we get from the second leg? Yes, another win, a 1-0 win, 3-1 on aggregate. We're going to the final. And it's Nottingham Forest who we will face for a spot in the Premier League. Okay then, baby, let's do it. I like the look of the team. I feel like that's a team that could definitely play Premier League football. It's a team that deserves to be in the Premier League. Come on, let's go. Let's get in there, boys. Off and underway. Well, Chanty, yes, finally a breakthrough. And who else but Declare who has done it? Can we please stop them from grabbing an equalizer before half time? That would be just swell. And yes, we will. Come on. Oh, through. And that's a big save. Come on, big one from Morozov. One more goal. One more goal would absolutely surely seal it. The captain gets it. Come on. I've just gone ahead and jumped in because we finished up the game, made it to the end. The Premier League is ours, baby. We will see you there next season. From being put into administration to being put in the Premier League, that's more like it. And that man, our superstar of the team, bloody Robin DeClaire, having more than his bit to say in this as well. Well, from the championship to the Premier League, now we're going to try to get in the Champions League and to try to win the whole thing as well. Come on, let's go. Who else is leading our stats in every department? But of course, Robin DeClaire with 32 and 10. Nice stuff. Tom Lawrence doing well. Murphy, despite getting injured, did numbers as well as Blanco, Cavalio, and a few other players as well. Nice stuff, lads. Premier League bound. Promoted up after two seasons. Now, hopefully, we're going to start playing with a bit more cash. How do we go in the Premier League? From about 10 million to 50 million with our Premier League promotion. How big is this? I'm going to go ahead and whack this pre-contract signing that we picked up in in the midfield as well. But I'm probably going to go and sign an actual higher rated center attacking midfielder. Maybe even some new wingers possibly as well. But we'll just strengthen the team just in general, I reckon. So after doing some digging and finding a few players, again, another free agent that's popped up. 78, Unas here, Adam Unas. So I reckon I can make him a right midfielder and even a cam if I wanted to. I might pick up Willem Jubels here, a free agent too, just a backup for, uh, for Robin DeClerc. And an actual proper signing I might make here is actually Musa Barrow from Gambia. A very unique signing. A bloke, I'm not sure if I've ever picked him up before, but he's worth 40 million. And I reckon I could slot him in at center attack in midfield in this team. And Unas, I can move to the right wing. I might even try to finesse him to try to get him on a little bit of a cheaper deal because he's in the last year of his contract. I wonder if I get away with this. Yeah, we bloody will. Oh, I've just shaved two and a half mil off of the price. I wonder if I could have got him for even less. So Jubel's on the bench as a nice backup there. We have got Unas on the right-hand side and Barrow at camp looking stronger. Very nice. Don't know if it's a team that's going to push for top four Champions League yet, but we're working our way to get there. I think I could really do with some more backup defenders as well, like fullbacks especially. So I'm going to pick up this man, Victor Moyer here, just another free agent I found for 72 overall. And holy crap, one other player I've just picked up while searching as well is Danny Ceballos in the free agents. The former Real Madrid and Arsenal man now without a club. I would happily take him if he ends up, you know, possibly being available. Uh, I'm going to play it safe and say 100k. I know that that's probably way too much, but I just wanted to make sure absolutely. Come on. And yeah, they're going to take it. I probably could have given him like 60, eh? But ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. It's uh, He's in. He's in the team. And what a lovely addition that is. That's just another 80 rated player in the team. So Ceballos, Barrow, and Declare now. With some other players on their way. I tell you what, this is starting to look like a decent Premier League team. An okay team. It's an okay team. But what is it going to do for us in this Premier League as we advance to January? I'm, I'm intrigued. And look, I've got to be honest with you. For a first season in the Premier League, we're... 
you know, it's 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 all right for not having a crazy amount of cash, for not having a crazy ass squad. We're in 12th place. We're pretty comfortably, I would say, not get not going to get relegated. We're only six points away, actually, to be fair. But I don't think we'll get relegated. I don't think we're finishing top four either. It's just like season one in the championship. We're just settling and hopefully building to something. Only two and a half mil in the budget. I doubt we're going to be doing anything significant in this window either. We have officially reached the point now where if we're going to try to get a decent player that improves our starting 11, we're not going to get them on pre-contracts. All those 80 to high 70 rated players are always going to get given new contracts. So what do we have here? Rodrigo Salazar, free agent. Maybe a nice pickup here. You never know. But honestly, I think I might move past him and go for younger free agents anyway, like Garcia here, a goalkeeper that's a nice backup, and Segura, again, needing to add more depth in the defense as well. So I'll go for these two instead. Surely there's no chance if we sim to the end of the season, this team won't get relegated. It's only getting better. It's young. It's continuing to grow. I think next season, hopefully we'll stay in the Prem and hopefully do something. Maybe try to challenge for Europe or something. And yep, 12th place is where we consolidate and finish. We're actually so far off of the top teams. Like you have no idea over 20, 25 points away from getting to a Champions League position. But at the end of the day, we're also pretty comfortably away from the relegation zone by nearly double digits. So it's fine. First season in the Prem, we do okay. De Klerk continuing to lead the way with Barrow, the new signing, contributing a decent amount and Tobias even. So some of the new boys that we've added in this season doing okay, not bad. De Klerk eventually will get to that 90 rating. I, I feel it in my loins. And in next season, I think the defense is probably what we're going to have to work on. Maybe a stronger goalkeeper and stronger wingers, who knows? So let's end this season, move on to season, what would it be? Four now and the second season in the Premier League. Can we finally start pushing. So just only 33 mil and only a little over 200k worth of wage, that's less I'm pretty confident than what we had last season for crying out loud. Well I feel like I definitely need to strengthen the center backs and the left midfield position the most. So if I need to drop cash on one big player, that's that's what it's for. Oh, hello. I have found probably the best free agent in my shortlist that I've found is Takifusa Kubo, the legend, the little Japanese maestro himself. I'm going to definitely get him. Found a right back here in Eduardo Consalves, who's a young and 76, could have high potential. I'll get him. And also Victor Molijo, I think. I'm not sure. He's a left midfielder, 76. I'll get him and replace him at the left midfield position. And then whatever cash I have left, I'll try to go for a center back. So that's him in Kubo at the right midfield position. I've got that right back on the bench but how much cash does that leave me with? Only about 20 mil for a center back, sheesh. As much as I would have loved to have gone for a guy like Dejalo, for example, he's just going to be out of our price tag, I think. It looks like my best bet is to buy this guy, Mikel Cuevas, who is a 76 rated 18 year old. Not bad. He's within our budget and he should grow. I might try for 15 million for him. I think that should be on the money and that will be on the money. So he'll go in there then. Come on. I haven't really been able to do up my back line as much as I wanted, but I didn't get as much cash as I thought I was going to get. From now on in the future, I think I might just spend all my money on one big player per window, but hey, we'll see. Let's see how this first half of the season goes. And look, it's it's similar to where we were last season, but it's improvement for sure. We're 10th at the moment. I mean, think about it. If we're currently on 26 points, we're just a little over, sadly, double digit points away from Champions League, which I didn't think we were going to make Champions League this season, but I hope we'd make inroads to Europe, which again, with a strong end to the season, we could get. Again, only 5 mil worth of a budget, not going to be able to sign any pre-contract players above an 80 rating. Don't know if there's much for me to do. My squad size is getting wham too, you know, look at all these players. I'm actually going to have to start letting a few go. I'm not renewing a couple of contracts for some players. So we're just going to push on to the end of this season. Look how difficult this month of January has been. We've not been able to get a single win. We've had to play every top six team bar one. And yeah, look, 10th is where we finish, unfortunately. 15 points away from top five and a whole... Crazy amount of points away from top four. Champions League is looking so far away, even now. Takifusa Kubo apparently was leading the way. What happened to Robin de Klerk? Slowing down a little bit, mate. You're only 22. He barely grew at all this season. And aside from Musa Barrow, no, no support from anyone else in this damn team. There's a huge gap between the top three goal scorers and assist getters and everybody else, man. Yeah, really going to hope for more next season. I'm going to have to start selling some players, bringing in cash and making big big signings, only individual signings if need be. About 50 million worth of budget. All right, fine. And I'm going to have to increase the strength of this team once more. A center midfielder, another star center mid would be great. Maybe a star left mid or center back, or maybe even actually a goalkeeper. I think a high quality keeper would go a long way too. 
Oh, by the way, it took ages, but oh my god, I can finally turn Robin de Clare into a striker, and it's bumped it up to a 90 overall now. Surely he'll get even better now with that. What a kick up the ass that is. Melier is definitely the keeper I think I'd like to go for here. He's 85 rated. 51 million, which is less than my budget, but if we get a bit of cash after the preseason tournament, I might be able to afford him. Maybe we can sell some other players as well. We're definitely going to make it through to the next round. That's good. Let's go all the way to the final. Do we get past the semi? Yeah, we do. Do we beat Dortmund in the final? Surely no, unfortunately. But that does take us over 50 mil. I reckon we can get him. Hell yeah, baby. I think we can afford him. Let's go for him. Come on. I'm going to try to offer 50 million flat. I think we could maybe make that happen. And yes, indeed, we will. A high quality keeper I think will go a long way for us. Oh, and by the way, while I'm here, I've also come across Michelle Castileo or whatever, who's 20 years of age and 82 rated. Unbelievable free agent to get there. I'm definitely going to make the most of that one and grab him too. So that is Melier in goal now with Castillo on the, or Casti, Castillo, whatever. Why is that so hard for me to say? Right back and then a new left back there in Neves. We've swapped him over. I just need to find when I have more cash, a high rated left mid and some better center backs. But boys, we are starting to build a team here. Don't know what else we've been doing this whole time, but still, with uh, that much cash spent, I reckon we just push on. I am also accepting transfer offers in like the background for some players I want to sell as well. And I've actually been able to raise enough cash that I might go for another player, actually. My center mid depth has actually become alarmingly uh, tight, so I might have to go for another center mid before left mid. Looks like the best player I can afford right now is Gustavo Asuncao from uh, from Watford. So I will pay his value and get him into the team now as well. So with him in then, all we need is slightly better center backs and a brand new left mid. And we'll have an all-80 rated team and a side that I'm sure will start pushing for Champions League. And oh my god, yes. Yes! Finally, we're getting somewhere. This Derby County team is up into the top four. And could we maybe be on for a Champions League appearance next season? Finally, progress. Don't really have any free agents in my shortlist or anything that I can... Oh, I've got a le one here, but I probably won't bother. And all the ones that are first team quality, I don't have a super amount of info on. And I don't have enough cash with 10 million to replace... Uh, to find an 80 plus rated left mid or center back. So I think it's just another moving on. Holy crap, boys, I beg. See this out. Finish in the top four. Finish in the top four. It would be amazing. And oh my God, guys. I can't believe what the hell has just happened. Not only have we made top four, but we were literally a point away, if not only that, like a goal away from winning a Premier League? Are you kidding me? I don't even want to break this down because I think we've just lost the Premier League by the least amount that you possibly can. Look at the goal difference. Look at the points. It is tied. They have won because they scored one extra goal than us. That is it. That is the reason. I am so heartbroken. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I didn't even think we'd be in with a shot of winning the title. I just won a top four. I sim all the way to the end and look how close we were. That is brutal. We won our last two games of the league and we won against Brighton. If only we'd scored one more goal, it would have been it. That is just unbelievable to me. I can't believe it. Robin Declare and Barrow still smashing it. Of course, these two every single season are absolutely ridiculous, but De Declare is not growing in overall. Yeah, it says plus three, but that's only because we changed his position. Well, anyway, people, I'm going to end the season here. Holy crap. Champions League next season. How are we going to go? If we sign a couple more players, I think we're going to be able to get out the group somewhat okay, comfortably, and then knock out stage man. Who knows? And now here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Over 100 million in the budget now. We have cash to spend, baby. I'm going to try to sign a $50 million center back and about a $50 million left mid in that case. That should hopefully be the best uh, thing that we can do for the team. Okay, so I've got a guy called Nico Melamed who I could get for about 60 million. All right, nice. And I've also got another left winger here in Baronator who I could get for about 50 million. So. That's two options. And if I went for one of those, the only other center back I could probably afford is this bloke by the name of Mohamed Simakan, who is 52 to 54. I think I'd be able to, they're the only ones I'll go for. I'll sign him first. I'm going to try 50 million flat for this guy. I get the feeling we should be able to pull that off with him being in the last year of his contract. And yes, we will. Very good stuff. Thank you, Diego. And after signing him, I'm left with about 60 mil. I think we can make this happen. It is actually going to be pretty close to get Nico Melamed. And I'll be honest with you, he's a year older and only one overall higher 
than Baron Eater. I'm probably just going to go for... I'm probably going to go for Ande here instead. You know what? Why not? I can probably get him for about 50 million as well. I'm fairly certain of that as well. And yes, we will get it done. Oh boy. So Baronatia, Baronetta, however you were to say it, and Simakan in at center back now as well. The only guy that isn't 80 rated is Cuevas, and I think he'll probably get there with his age only being 20. Oh my God, people. This is a team that can maybe do damage in the Champions League, and maybe we can get that Premier League title that we were so, so close to. Our Champions League group is Barcelona, Sporting Lisbon, and Dynamo Kiev. So... Let's see, we get out of that group, I'll advance to the halfway stage, see if we do. Surely we will make it to at least the knockout stage, and hopefully in the knockout stage we can make some progress, but I'm not expecting to make the final this season. Okay, halfway stage of the season, we've reached it, and it's not going great in the Premier League, so gotta be honest with you, we're only 8th place, but 5 points away from 4th, so hopefully a chance, but I mean, we've officially hit a crazy ass point. Look at this Premier League table. Leicester on top, Leeds a second, Villa in fourth, and Sheffield a fifth. I've never seen, yes, we're a few seasons deep, but I've never seen a Premier League table ever look like this at any point. Where are the rest of the top six? It's hilarious. Where's Arsenal? Oh my God, are they even in the, uh, oh my God. No, what am I talking about? They're in third place. We did just about get out of our group only by a point, and we will be taking on in the round of 16, none other than, oh, did I skip it already? Yeah, we're taking on Piemonte Calcio. 20 mil in the budget in January, maybe not enough to sign an 80 plus rated player, but maybe we could do something with it. I've got these two lads chilling in my free agents. We've got uh, Maybury, I think, would that be how you say it? Hannibal Maybury, and then also Pereira, two free agents, which look nice. I'll just pick them up. Decent, decent looking stuff. We've added in, uh, we've added in Maybury onto the bench, and I reckon the uh, the other lad will just probably have to sit in the reserves. But it's still not bad at all. This team is okay. We could maybe win the Champions League with a team this good. Let's advance now to the knockout stage and let's see how these games go. Can you believe it? We've taken so long to get here, but the Champions League round of 16 has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The first leg ends in a draw against Juventus, and the second leg ends up being a win, 2-1 away, 3-2, we're in the, what, no, quarterfinals. And we've been drawn up out of all these teams against Roma. There's, there's a chance. First leg ends well, despite losing a player to a red card, we have managed to get a 2-1 win. And what about in the second leg against Roma? It's a draw, but it's enough. And we're in to the final four, the semi-finals. Who do we get? One more nice draw, but I don't really think there are any nice draws left. Ah, uh, it's Barcelona. I would have maybe taken Leipzig, maybe, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. I think every one of these teams was going to be tough. We've just quietly made the FA Cup semi-finals as well, but let's take on Barca two games away. It's an entertaining start, but it's 2-2. So Bios and Taki Fusakubo getting our goal. And the moment of truth as we make it to the semi-final second leg. Oh, God bless you, Barcelona. You always bottle it in the semi-finals. Let's go, Derby County. The second leg, they've thrown it away again. Taki Fusakubo has sent us to a final. I love that little Japanese man. We are now taking on Man City in the final 2027. How many seasons is that? Has this been the sixth or the seventh? But it's taken us a while. We've got here first season we qualify in the Champions League, we make the final. The team was good enough, but I didn't think it would happen so soon. I say soon, it's been long. And we also didn't make top four, which means if we don't win the Champions League final here, we are going to have to do another season just to get back into the Champions League. Come on, boys. This is the time. I should also add we made the, uh, the FA Cup final and sadly we went down 1-0. Uh, Come on, team. This is a team that I know can win the Champions League. Their team is strong. They got Haaland playing out wide for some reason instead of Chiesa. Whatever. And Pogba's joined them as well. What a team. This is seriously a strong lineup, but ours is good too. It's been built up over the course of so many seasons. Everything we have done has led to this moment. We have got this, boys. I believe in you. Even if they've got Erling Haaland, we've got belief. We've got the fight. We've got the hope. We can do it. From administration to the Champions League final. Hell, they've even got Van Dyke. They have got Haaland, Van Dyke, and Pogba, and so many others. What a team this Man City outfit is. It would be something special to take them down. Well, you know that's exactly what we're going to have to give. All those players, and then you've got Luke Bolton, who apparently is super high rated. Hell. Damn, Rodri, 
Pogba. What a midfield this is, man. What a team that is. But we know what happens when Man City hit the final. They're bottle jobs. Pep's going to blow it again. Come on. I don't care how strong your team is, mate. Because our team is, I say just as strong, maybe that's uh, wishful thinking. But it's going to be enough. I know it will. Come on, lads. You've got this. I can feel it. Robin DeClerc with the honor of kicking off the Champions League final. Let's go. Who's going to be the first goal scorer today on our team? Because we know we're opening this damn scoring. Ball up over the top. That's phenomenal timing. And then just a... Oh, amazing start already. Two minutes in. Robin DeClaire, you are ridiculous, man. Oh, my God. The start's phenomenal. Up and over the top. Took no time at all. What a horrific start for Man City, but a perfect start for us. Lovely run. The ball is phenomenal. Perfectly weighted. The volley sensational. I think Edison just about gets something on it there. Maybe a little smidge, but not enough baby come on yeah pep it's happening to you again drink it in you're bottling another final let's go robin de clerk oh you superstar absolute two goals in 13 games who cares he appears when he matters most they've pretty well turned into just ball possession mode now because i have not had a touch of it not even a sniff for a good couple of Oh, minutes now? It's been ridiculous. And they make their move. And the shot from Chiesa. He's missed the ball. Oh, my Lord. Bloody Robbins connects with a beauty up the other end. And Chiesa can't even make contact. What's he going to do again? Up the middle? I was thinking about it. But Barrow, no. Instead, we work it wide. And one more. And a curl from a super tight angle. Tacky. Fusakubo. Edison up on the ground. Getting up. Winning the header. Sabayos. Barrow, he won't shoot in time. Barrow. Asunsao. Baronacia, I'm looking, I'm looking. I might just finesse if they're going to... Oh, if they're not going to get on me, why the hell not? What a finesse. That is sublime. I swear, if they're not going to... If they're not going to get in my way, you're just begging for it. Running and running and running. He's asking for it. He's asking for it. And then the finesse in the top corner and Man City, welcome to the 97. Oh, my God. Just sensational. The curl on it, just the reach of Edison not getting there. Oh, and it's an amazing start. Nicely timed again. Could be a big day if it gets through. I was thinking of trying to go for the exact same thing again, but not. That pass just about getting through to Castillo here. Going to go for another curl. This time doesn't quite work out. Right side. I feel like something's coming to Bios. Tight angle. I'm just going to have a pop. Edison makes a simple save. It's straight to him. Harlan's oh, been able to body on past the fullback. And Pogba takes a touch and smashes home. He has snaked Manchester United, gone to City. And yeah, it's just in the end, oh, found its way through. No defender there to make a tackle. Keeper can't get down and cut it off. And here we go. Unfortunately, our two-goal lead is cut to one before halftime. Any chance we can reclaim it? Maybe declare. Can go for a run here. Declare fingertip save Edison. Maybe if we get our big boy on the end of this, it'll be good. Is a man in front? What a save! It won't matter! Oh, Edison nearly, mate. Nearly, nearly. But Cuevas with a huge header. What a header. Let's go. 3-1. He's a big boy. We were always aiming for him. And look at this. Palmed onto the post. Only just, but crosses the line before it can be cleared. What a header. 3-1. We will not be denied today. That was so nearly an amazing stop, but not quite. Three goals in one half already in a Champions League final. I don't know if there's ever... I don't know if any team in Champions League history has scored three goals in a half of football in a final, especially in this stadium, and ever bottled it. So surely we'll be right. And there it is, half time. Going well, but it's not done yet. 45 minutes, and we will do it. We will be crowned champion. Let's go then, people. Off and underway for the next half, the second half, the final 45, surely. Absolutely all over the place. Tackle there from Cuevas. Lovely stuff. Well, that was Ceballos, actually. Up over the top. This would be big. Will he get there? Yes, he will. What a touch. Sensational. Finesse. Oh, Edison makes a simple save. Not good enough. Not good enough. What a ball from... Oh, Pogba. He's running the show in the final. That's a really good through ball. Big save. Big, big save from Melier. That is massive. And now, Baronacia. What a ball. Come on. This is your redemption time, mate. He's got to finish this one. And he will. That's the brace. 4-1. This is happening. 
Whether you like it or not, Man City, because Robin declare, brace, and 4-1, surely it can't be. It can't be for Man City. What a through ball. Phenomenal stuff. Right up on the line, behind the defense, and making up for his error in only a, what, five-minute spell. Lovely work there. Sensational hit. That is right up in the top corner. And it's going to happen now. We've only gone and won it. Look at this. Just some of the players. Some sensational... Baronacia, it could get worse. Oh my God, Edison, will you just chill, man? Gonna get the big boy on the end of it again. Oh, that's really far away. Could I go for a bike? <laughs> Not quite. Harlan down the wing. The Harlan, the winger, as of course he is in real life, you know. Um, oh, no one's on him. Block there, Cuevas, lovely work. They're not getting anything for the rest of the day. They are pressuring us in a real good spot. Harlan is absolutely... What a rocket that shot is. Why is he on the wing? Another pep, probably Champions League final masterclass, I would think. He's like, oh, I'm going to put him on the wing because they'll never suspect it. And he fucks up the whole order. But no, I try to play it out. Turned over 4-2. What a rocket, mate. Oh, my Lord. But with five minutes to go, surely it is un... It is un... You know, we can't, we can't possibly mess this up. But either way, the game is about to be completed. Three minutes of stoppage time. And can you hear that? Can you hear that? I think I can hear the anthem. I think I can hear the choir singing. Asun Sound knocking it forward. Two minutes of stoppage time. Virgil van Dijk is gassed. Well, it's pretty well it. Ladies and gentlemen, from administration to Champions League champions, we have done it. Derby County from the championship to the Champions League. It took a long, long time. It took many, many seasons, but we made it to the Champions League final and we won it in the first season in the competition. With a good amount of help from all the players, all the star players that we picked up in this career, but especially bloody Robin DeClerc. What a superstar. We found super early, a standout throughout the whole season and throughout the whole career mode, and now he delivers on the big stage in the big game. My love for you is more than life itself. Oh my lord. And the captain will get to lift it up. The captain Melier, the goalkeeper. I think he was a massive piece too. Ladies and gentlemen, drink it in. Derby County have done it. Champions League champions. The first FIFA 22 proper rebuild done for this year. Let's go, baby. Come on. How sweet it is. I wish you the best of luck in administration, Derby County. I'm sure you'll find your way back on your feet. If you fall into League One, so be it. But who knows? All you need is to copy everything that I've done here, and I guarantee you Champions League success. That'll do it for me, though, people. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, in the comments down below, tell me who you would like me to take over next. But until next time, people, my name is Master Bucks. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Catch you later, and bye-bye.